All right, folks, you're probably watching this on YouTube, which means that you're not watching the full video. I am going to be making a double book review, uh, two serial killer, two racist serial killer bonanza <clears throat> with the two books here, Absolute Madness by Catherine Pilanero and Dark Soul of the South by Mel Aiton. Now, obviously, I'm going to go further into depth. Uh, two stories about two serial killers who both had apparently racist uh, patterns. In one case, Joseph Paul Franklin, who's the subject of Dark Soul of the South, a very clear racist paradigm in his crimes. And the other one, Joseph uh, Christopher, a little bit more complicated, a lot of psychological problems, but also a clear pattern in terms of the victims. And I would say that if you want to really get into some of the real people who were there in the past who were targeting people specifically based on their race and and this is beyond you know some people think of racist killers they think of dylan roof who was a spree killer but these two were very much um you know they're more, they're more sophisticated and certainly also they were a bigger problem because it wasn't just one incident. <clears throat> and I think in light of what we're seeing today, it is a little bit more beneficial to look back at what it really meant when there were people like that who were stalking neighborhoods and looking around for potential victims, including interracial couples, and in some cases, just uh, you know elderly or middle-aged people, and even kids. So people who think, oh, we can just defund the police and get rid of that. Well, the truth is, even for the racist criminals, even for the ones, and there aren't that many running around who are specifically targeting people for racial motivations, but even for them, you do need some law enforcement in order to track them down. And in both cases, I would say law enforcement wasn't necessarily at their best, but you did see them come through at the end, and the justice system is ultimately what has to prosecute people, whatever their crime may be. So you can check both of those out. I'm going to link to that full video, which will be on both Library and on BitChute. And also, I will probably link to either the original version or the mirrored version of a chat that I had with Wally, a.k.a. Davey from the 80s. Uh, he has a channel called Cinema Chop House on uh, on YouTube. So we did a little chat on some horror movies. So yeah, an overall gory topic for today in um, anticipation for the eerie season of the fall. That's about it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also subscribe to me on all the other social media platforms you see behind me. BitShootMinds.com, Subscribe, Star, Gab, Library, and Parlor. And I'll talk to you later.